Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. If you ever need to capture your screen, iPhone has its built-in recorder which is easily accessible in the control center. However, as you probably know, a specific red bar or dot appears in the upper left corner of your screen when you use this tool for recording. In this video, I will show you a simple method to record your screen without showing the recording indicator on your iPhone display. Let's go! If you need more features to screencast or control your iPhone from your computer, I personally recommend the third-party software iMyPhone Mirror 2, which is the best tool I've tried so far. Mirror 2 is an all-in-one software that includes functions such as screen mirroring for both iOS and Android devices, real-time streaming with audio, and controlling your mobile apps directly from your PC. It is available for both Windows and Mac. For your reference, click on the tag in the top right corner or find the link below to download the tool for free. Although Mirror 2 is generally a paid software, there is a free trial version so you can get a feel for how it works before paying a fee. Later, I will also indicate which features are free, restricted, or available only to premium users. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer. For first-time setup, change key configurations to maximize both the audio and video quality of your mirrored screen. Click the three-dot menu on the left sidebar, select Setup and go to General Settings. This is where you'll notice the limitations of the free trial. For instance, you can't remove the watermark, capture audio input, or select the highest video quality available, which is 1080 pixel resolution. However, you are free to change the recording format and destination folder regardless of your subscription status. Any changes you make in the general settings are automatically saved so you can simply return to the main dashboard to start using the program. To get started, select the iOS phone system in the dashboard. You can then choose either Wi-Fi or USB mode for your preferred connection. If you prefer a wireless connection, make sure you're in Wi-Fi mode. Note that both your iPhone and your computer should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In case you receive a Windows Defender Firewall Alert, click the Allow Access button to allow Mirror2 to access the domain public and private networks on your computer. Keep in mind that the stability of the connection depends entirely on your internet speed. To start mirroring your iPhone, open the Control Center. Tap Screen Mirroring and select the Mirror to Device label to start the connection. If you prefer a more stable connection that does not depend on your internet speed, you can switch to USB mode. Then, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, click the Trust button and enter your device passcode to confirm the connection. The trust process between your devices is required every time you connect your phone in USB mode. Initially, you may be prompted to install necessary drivers, so simply follow the on-screen instructions to do so. Once connected, your iPhone screen should automatically be mirrored in the program's dashboard. After mirroring, you can click the Pin button in the toolbar above to keep the window on top of the other open screens on your computer. You can view it in full screen as well. Mirror 2 also automatically adapts to the orientation of the app you have accessed on your iPhone. For instance, if you open an app that's horizontally oriented, such as gaming apps like PUBG, you'll see that the software's screen adapts to its layout as well. Mirror 2 can also connect and screencast multiple devices. Aside from mirroring your iPhone screen, you can also record it to save your activities for later viewing. To start recording, click the Video Camera button in the sidebar menu. Once you have captured everything you need, click the Video Camera button again to stop recording your iPhone screen. The recorded file is automatically saved to the location you specified in the General Settings. Simply click the Open Folder button to view your screencast. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!